and some of the radios. This is how they're all going to be this year for you guys. Is that could you just expand on that thought a little bit? Well, we're not. We're not. We don't have the same teams in the past. You know, we can pull away from folks and we can play better competition. Uh, uh, you know, any win's a good win, and, and we need to understand that. So, you know, uh, uh, especially close ones. So that that that's how I, I, I see. I envision us having a lot of games that are like this. We've had only one game so far in our league where it really couldn't have gone either way, and that was uh, that was the Texas Tech game. And so, well, Texas maybe we controlled that one, but but I anticipate all games being. You get that 11 point lead. What do you want your team to do from that point on? Well, we didn't we didn't play well after that at all. Uh, I think what what did they go on 11 0 run to tie it? Yeah. And and uh, yeah, we were we were awful after that. Uh, uh, give them credit; they made some plays. Devontae got three early, so he they drove him a couple of times, mm -hmm. and uh, and then uh, uh, the point guard. And I don't want to uh, mispronounce his name because I know it's not pronounced like it. Like I, I would uh, like it spelled at least in my eyes, but uh, is, is it Jara? Jada? Jada? He's great. He's great. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, he, he was terrific, and he controlled the game the second half for them. The Dean had a fabulous game. Played about. I mean, he played great. And, but I thought Doe guarded him great in the few possessions that because they were going to play to the pick and pop with him. I thought Doe did a good, good job. So you know, you look at it. High rivalry game, a lot of intensity. Uh, both teams were one shot away from shooting 50%. I think mean, both teams shot 49. Uh, rebounding's fairly even. Uh, turnovers fairly even. Uh, uh, both teams made their free throws. I mean, it was a it was a fairly well played game, uh, uh, and they played great. They're, they're, you know, I'm not on their staff, but but I would I'm sure they're very proud of the guys. They played great. And I was proud of our guys. I thought we competed, especially down the stretch. What did you expect to see from them during that last 15 seconds? I, I thought that they would, you know, last year they they, they tried to run a, a similar deal where, where uh, Wade slipped the ball screen and, and he actually got a good look and missed it. Uh, we, were, we, were, we were fortunate, we were lucky last year. And then, uh, so we were playing to that, but they subbed and so that put Doak on Wade. And so that's kind of not the best match you want when, when they're gonna play to that. But, but fortunately they didn't. They didn't really play to the slip, they played to the ball screen. We did a good job on ball screen defense. Did no, Brian, they didn't give the ball to Wade at the end? That's what he just asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I don't know that I, it was going to be a two man play, you know, with Brown and and, and, and with, with Wade. And so, you know, uh, we were able to keep the ball in Barry's hands. And, and uh, but, you know, I, I don't know if, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not here to say a surprise or whatever. I, I don't know what they were exactly trying to do except the high ball screen. No, could you just talk about Malik's composure during the free throw situation, especially when Bruce calls timeout between the two shots? Yeah, well, we did the same thing to Snead. We'd say the same thing about about him too. So, so I thought both guys, uh, you know, under pressure type situation, stepped up and did what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Were you surprised, Ryan, on the focus time going to fall down the court on a fast possession? Uh, what was there? Fifteen left in the half. Now, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm thinking the clock is in slow motion. So, uh, um, you know, I, I don't know. But it, it was, uh, it was one of those situations uh, uh, that was almost. You guys remember, like the Missouri game here several years ago, where where he kind of gets down to three and you got to got to get a shot, and it was kind of one of those. And, and but I thought I thought our ball screen defense at the end was pretty good. Though. You. Players always seem to play with a lot of composure at the end of close games, but since you're having more close games and anticipate more, do you work on end of game plays even more? Not really. No. Not you know, uh, we're not an execution team by uh, as far as you know. It, it seems like everything that we do, late game situation, is based just on how they're defending us at that moment and trying to you know play to that how they're defending us and. And uh, but I, I, I wouldn't say that we have spent more time on any of that than what we we uh, uh, we always do. Uh, uh, we've been we've been pretty fortunate in some of those, and of course, some situations we haven't performed well at all. But but uh, the the thing that that we did good, I mean, we, we ran a little something to to try to get Doak and Malik with the ball screen late. But that's not what made the play. What made the play was Devonte driving and pitching it behind the Malik, which of course to 
a closeout where an angle where he can drive it. So the hardest thing to guard is the ball, and I, I think all teams that drive in late game situations are probably better off and have a better chance to execute. On that last uh, play by Malik, did you were you happy with the fact that there were 15 seconds left? Did you want to you know, take her down with this first good opportunity? Oh no no no, <laughs> I, I won't play that way. I, I, I would say I won't. You know, the only time that I think I would play that way is if we were in such foul trouble or something uh, uh, that, that uh, you know, over time we couldn't finish the game. But, but uh, no, I, I won't play that way. I, I, uh, I want to go try to score and give us a chance. And if it doesn't work out, you still got a chance because worst case scenario, you're shooting a three to tie the game. So, uh, uh, so that yeah, I, I, I would go try to score. Did Vic look comfortable on the three-pointers he hit late after not – he didn't give us anything early, uh, uh, either end. And, and, and uh, but he hung in there, and, and then he made the one three, and then after that, he was as good a player as it was in the game. After that, and so we need him to be more consistent. But but he did step up. To your, to your point, Dan, if the game was tied, of course I would right. wait. Yeah, but we were down. You know, right. we were down. Yeah. yeah. How many of our left was worse these uh, three pointers in the last thirty-seven seconds of the first half? Well, they, they they had they had totally controlled the game from about the ten minute mark on, so so uh, I think we were up like I, I could be wrong, guys 20, 23, 15, something like that, and then then they controlled the game to go up uh, uh, six, and then and then those two shots were huge. I mean, the little play at the end of the half that was huge. I mean, that gave us momentum going into halftime, and then we played pretty well to start the second half. You know, up until up until they go on their run, coach. But you said earlier, you know, expect this every game. Is it more important now to separate each game and focus on each game and trying to get that across to your team, your players? Yeah, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I know that we play West Virginia Monday, and I believe we play Baylor on Saturday, and I have no idea after that. I, I mean, you know, you know, it used to be in, in years past, you kind of study the schedule and, and say, okay, now we got these two. These are our next four. I've always kind of broken the league down, kind of two-week segments. Say these are our next four, whatever. I, I haven't, I haven't done that at all. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's just what's in front of us. So I guarantee our players have no idea who we play next Saturday, and and uh, uh, and it's not a knock to anybody because they, they're not looking ahead at all. They're, they're, they're not at all. Doka avoided foul trouble today. How does that help? Oh, well, he's great. He was great. You know, he's good offensively. He. Uh, he rebounded the ball better, uh, and, and of course he was a he was a presence around the rim. So he's a different player when he can when, when he can play. You know, Doak, Doak's uh, we can talk what we want to. Doak didn't foul. Doak's majority of his fouls come off of you know bumping a driver, you know reaching stuff like that. So I, th I thought he played really smart defense. When Sylvia's introduction, well, it, it was it was more than what he bargained for. Uh, 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 and I asked him if he was fine. He said, "Coach, I'm great." And I also asked him, "Were you ready for that?" And he said, "No." I mean, I mean, so so that that was a different element. And and uh, you know, I, we've only coached him for two weeks, but the, I don't think we've seen the left-handed hook pass from out of bounds back to <laughs> back to Kip Kissinger. Uh, uh, but uh, he's going to be fine. But it's, guys, it's not fair to expect too much. And, and uh, uh, but, but he, he's going to be fine. But it's going to take him another couple. What, when you put Devontae back in, maybe nine minutes with the two fouls, it, was that a conversation or just a decision by you? No, or? no, no. Yeah, I, I think you can play Devontae and speed better than anybody else with two fouls mm -hmm. or that early in the half. Mm -hmm. I, I really do. How do you think he did playing with the two? I mean, they, uh, they obviously drove it at him. I thought I thought he was okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought he, I thought he was okay. He, you know, he bailed out on play in transition, which mm -hmm. he needed to. Mm -hmm. He gave him a basket. Uh, uh, Devonte, that, that that's a quiet 23. You know, he, he didn't have a great first half. Turned it over. I think he had four turnovers at halftime, something like that. Uh, but he was clutched down the stretch. Uh, uh, but but uh, uh, I, I I trust him and Speed probably more than anybody played with fouls. Do you, do you trust Udoka a lot more when he's out on the perimeter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the action, like he was there in the final seconds. Is, uh, is he a lot better at that now? When Dokes turned up, he's a great athlete. Uh, uh, a great athlete. He can slide his feet and guard just about anybody who's turned up, uh, uh, and he was turned up. So, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that's the ideal situation, but but yeah, he was turned up. When it comes to Tardy year, he already played in some How impressed do you consider this is his first career road start? I know maybe you guys haven't had a lot of film on him, but he's been coming. Well, we, yeah, we've had we got film on him, but yeah, he was great. 
team, you look at their whole team, their whole team was great. They played great. Uh, uh, he's good. And to think that, you know, and, and, and obviously Stokes is a really good guard, too. They got three really, really, really good guards when everybody's healthy. But, uh, I, I, I think he's really good. And uh, we got to watch to see him when he gets three more years. So, so he's, he's a good player. And, and, you know, West Virginia is the best type of team to get ready for with a day. Yeah. You know, I, I, I was wrong. I, I, I think there's one time that we have played them that was on a Saturday. Every other time is being Monday, so it's, it's a 30-minute practice tomorrow. And, and uh, so, so, uh, uh, but we, you know, we did, we did uh, uh, on Wednesday after uh, the game against uh, Iowa State. We didn't talk about K State. We worked 30 minutes on just how to get it in bounds, stuff like that. So hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more productive. But yeah, they're, they're, they're a hard team to deal with regardless. Uh, uh, and we haven't played well out there. You know, we've been in the games, but we haven't played very well out there. You know, when you stop and think about our depth situation and things like that, you know they're going to come after us. So we, we better be pretty, pretty prepared. What was the way you doing to kind of get going today? Excuse me? Uh, what was the way you doing to kind of get going today on offense? Uh, I thought he was, I don't know what he did. He posted our guards, and he was able to score without bouncing, you know, face-ups. So, and, and uh, he made two threes, uh, makes all his free throws. And, and, but but I, I think what he did, as much as anything, he, he played to his talent. I think he's really a talented guy. And, and I thought he played to his talent from an athletic standpoint and, and uh, certainly looking for a shot. Did you put extra emphasis on guarding Barry Brown after what he did against Oklahoma State? No, not extra, but you know we we felt all along that you know if you can guard, uh, uh, don't let Barry, don't let uh, uh, Dean, and, and don't let uh, Snead have big nights. You know you're forcing somebody else that hasn't consistently had big nights to beat you. And all three of those guys played well, and and then and then you had had uh, uh, the point guard play great. So, so, uh, but I, I wouldn't say uh, there was an emphasis, but I, I don't think there was, we didn't do anything, anything special. You talked about not being able to exhale during this conference run. These last two, and, and the clutch nature, the high pressure, these last two, does that bode well going into West Virginia, or is that irrelevant? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can say, oh, yeah, we, right. that's great. And you can say, <laughs> oh, God, we're tired. You know, who, who, sure. who, 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 who but but uh, I, I think with this group, I, I haven't really seen much correlation between practicing and playing, nor what happens one game that actually yeah, yeah. would lead you to believe, uh, lead you to believe uh, what you would uh, expect to happen the next game. But, but uh, uh, it, it'll be a fun atmosphere. Though. Our guys like those. When uh, Bruce was in, and you mentioned a couple calls against him. From your perspective, do you think it's favorable? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know what, I shouldn't comment because I haven't seen the tape. But I would bet over the course of a game, and more importantly over the course of a season, that, that they pretty much uh, uh, balance out. So I'm not going to comment what another coach says, but, but uh, uh, if that's a reason for losing uh, or losing a great game, that was a great college basketball game where two teams played their butts off, uh, I don't buy into that at all. At all. With the way you guys are playing, uh, having more guard play this year, does that make you more optimistic going into this game against West Virginia? The way we were what? The way you guys are playing with, with four guards and having more ball handlers on the court. We really don't, you know, you would say yes, but we've had Frank and Devontae go up there that you could take Frank and he handles it better than all the other four guys combined, you know, almost. And, and, we, and we've had problems going up there with that. But, but you would think a, a formula uh, would be multiple ball handlers. You would think that. So, so. Uh, I got to watch a lot of tape. I, I, I haven't studied West Virginia uh, at all like I need to. So I, I need I need to watch a lot of tape because you know with with Carter and Miles out there, they create so much havoc. You, you gotta and, and, and then then the way you look at it, okay, if they take Graham out, now you're really putting the ball in somebody else's hands that hasn't had the ball in his hands all year long too. So so we we, we got to come up with some stuff. Bill, when did you talk to Sylvia? Uh. We got the word. I'm, I'm getting. We had to have the guys be here at, at 9:30, so I'd say 9:30 a.m. Uh, <coughs> is when is when uh, uh, he got here. Probably we probably found out about 9:15, 9, 9:10, 9, something like that. And he probably found out about 9:30. Was it just the last 
uh, last second maybe you had to dot some I's and cross some T's and you seem like you had a pretty good idea that it probably Well, to my understanding, the way it went down was uh, uh, being conference yesterday, trying to do it, and, and, and then uh, uh, wanted to review some stuff that, that maybe maybe one or two people hadn't had a chance to see everything yet, and then they reviewed that and reconvened this morning. I guess I don't know how by conference call or whatever, and then and then they let us know afterwards. We we were confident that it was going to happen. The, the thing about it is, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it puts a kid in limbo. You know, you know, getting a kid eligible to start the second semester is is harder than what you think because we don't we we don't take a break. You know, we we take off the twenty fifth. And and and, uh, and then we're back at it the 26. Not everybody does it that way. So, so in, in a two semester sport, when you just have a guy coming in, it, it, you know, you need him to be eligible immediately. And and certainly that was not the case because of all the things that the NCAA asked us to do concerning Silvio. So our people did a great job. Uh, uh, David Reed did a great job in getting that stuff to them as quickly as possible. Everything they requested, and then they had to they had to digest it. And, and this was the earliest they could make that decision. But it, it, it's not a killer for us, even though we'd like for him to be eligible every game. He wasn't ready to help us yet, so it wasn't a killer for us uh, uh, by any stretch. But it would have been it would have been pretty rough if, if if he'd been held out more than twenty percent. You know, he's already been held out twenty percent of, of our regular season games uh, this semester. So it was nice to nice to get him in uniform, and he'll pick up stuff quicker now because he knows. All right, coach. Thank you. When you're talking about the. Uh, you talking about the difficulty of figuring this team out from game to game, practice to practice. Has there been a certain deal with Silvio and, um, and and Billy been played a role in that? Oh, they played. Yeah, plays a huge role. role. Yeah, plays a huge role. Yeah, but but we know we got Silvio now, so so we'll play to that. And then uh, I don't have any information on on uh, on Billy at all. And and I, I think it's I think it, I think it's probably a, a ridiculous of me. To keep asking every four hours, is there anything? They're gonna let me know when something happens, and and, uh, and I promise you, when something happens, we'll let you know. Uh, uh, but but right now, uh, there's 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 they're, they're not even related in any way, shape, or form, uh, obviously. And, and uh, but we haven't been given, uh, to my knowledge, anything that would that would give us a timetable right now. At all.